This is The Big Question with Dr. Ellie Gonzalez, brought to you by Good News Unlimited, tackling the big questions in a simple and positive way. Today's big question is, is religion just a crutch? Well, yeah, I've heard this idea that religion is some kind of a crutch for the weak and the ignorant. This idea kind of says that people who are fearful or uneducated rely on religion to avoid facing the harsh realities of life and to avoid taking responsibility for their own lives and decisions. In the books by the New Atheists, believers are contrasted with the supposedly stronger, more intellectual atheists who have no need for such comforting but infantile nonsense such as belief in God. It sounds reasonable, doesn't it? A bit. But I believe it's total rubbish. The reality is that the world is a harsh place and people actually rely on all kinds of things for their self-comfort and self-esteem, including things like money, food and so on. So as far as a crutch is concerned, John Humphreys says, well, don't we all? Some use booze rather than the Bible. Alison McGrath says, if you have a broken leg, you need a crutch. If you're ill, you need medicine. That's just the way things are. The Christian understanding of human nature is that we are damaged, wounded and disabled by sin. That's just the way things are. End quote. Followers of Jesus believe that reliance on him is the solution to the problems of the human condition. To think that atheists are somehow stronger than believers because they don't need religion is to deny the reality of the darker side of life. The first step to recovery from any disorder is to admit that there's a problem and that you need help. There's masses of evidence that confirms that religious belief has a positive effect on both mental and physical health. Andrew Sims, who was the president of the Royal College of Psychiatrists in the UK, writes that this is supported by, and I quote, a huge volume of research and that it's one of the best kept secrets in psychiatry and medicine generally, end quote. So let's assume that Christians aren't all weak and dysfunctional. How then do we respond to the accusation that religion only exists because people desperately want it to be true, so it's like some kind of wish fulfilment? Well, of course, that cuts both ways. I could just as easily say that atheists are non-believers simply because they don't want it to be true. So atheism is just wish fulfilment. I actually think there's a much higher likelihood of that. Anyway, the argument that belief in God is just wish fulfilment is illogical at every level. No one would say that doctors are only a kind of wish fulfilment simply because we desperately want there to be someone to go to when we're real. And that's exactly the same argument. What's very powerful about Christianity is that it's not just a bunch of intellectual beliefs that you hold on to in tough times. It's so much more than that. The arguments for God are backed up by a reality that can be personally experienced in your life. And there are countless examples of people who've discovered a life-transforming faith although once they were bitterly opposed to Jesus. And this takes what I'm talking about to a whole new level. You see, true religion can be a crutch, sure, but it should be much, much more than that. True religion, and I mean following Jesus, should actually give you wings. For more, contact goodnewsunlimited.com. 